Hey guys, it's Holly with Tag Team Moms, and today I'm going to shoot this video. Um, we need to talk about your goals, and if you're going to get into any kind of a network marketing business, any business whatsoever, including if you're working for someone else, you need to have goals instilled as to what your what your ultimate goal is, doing what you're doing. And we had a little bit of a webinar tonight. And I highly encourage, if you haven't seen or heard of our webinars that we have, you're missing out greatly because this is where the magic happens. This is where great minds come together and start thinking as a whole. It may be one person, you know, one person doing the presentation or it may be several people doing the presentation. But whenever you have collective people in a group together, everybody knows two, two brains are better than one. So I've already done one about masterminding. I'm not going to go back over that if you need to see it. You can go through my channel and see more. But standard procedure whiteboard here. Um, we're going to move this closer a little bit. So hopefully you guys can see what I've got up here. Do a small bit of adjustment. There we go. Hopefully you guys can see. I'll read it out loud so that way you guys kind of can understand where I'm coming from. Um, ultimate goal. It's important to have your ultimate goal. And what I mean by this, you need to sit down with a piece of paper or, you know, whiteboard, whatever works for you, and really get in your head. Be precise. What you would feel, what you would see, what you would smell, the, the actions that you would be doing, you know, I mean, you need to feel it from the inside to create it from the outside. You know, I could, I could tell you... Think about your first car, you know, or, you know, that, that very first time you've, you know, you, you've ever been on something new, a new vehicle. You know, let, let's just go ahead and use a car, for example, because a lot of people have vehicles, I would hope, or at least have ridden in one. You know, what would it be like to sit down in your ultimate dream car? Just to, just to sit down in that seat and to feel it hug your body. And if you used to put your hands up on that steering wheel and just grip it, you could feel the little knobs on the back side where your fingers would lock in. You could smell the smells of this car. You could feel yourself relaxed, totally in control of this vehicle, right? Okay, and then you start it, okay? It's probably a brand new bugger and you're taking it for a test drive. Just to test drive. How exhilarating does that feel? To put your foot on the gas pedal and just give it a little give it a little gas. How exciting does it feel to hit that gas and take it out of the parking lot sideways? Sure the car car company would probably freak out, but hey, how exuberating would that feel? Okay. That's the kind of passion you need to have whenever you're looking for a business or you're in a business or you're working for someone else. Because whenever you lose that passion and that drive, then there's no point. There is no point. You are living day to day, mundane, paycheck to paycheck. Why? You know, whenever you come home, you know, and the first person you see is your spouse, do you still get the butterflies? You know, it's that feeling I'm talking about. You have to want it that bad. And in order to do that, you need to be precise in your goal. And when I say be precise in your goal, that means feel it. Deep down in your soul, you need to feel it with every ounce of your parts, everything about you. You have to be excited. You have to be on fire for it. You know, if, you, if you're a person that likes to go to, you know, church services, think of revival. You know what I'm saying? You need to feel that. For your business because this is nobody's gonna be writing this check but you have a date write down give yourself 90 days put down put down 90 days from today write it down I I expect to have blah 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 this amount of money by 90 days from today okay let's 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 just throw it out there by February 1st that'll give you a pretty good gap there if you want it and you eat, sleep, drink, and breathe it, you think about it carnally in your brain, like your next scrap of food. You keep pounding it in your head. This is what you want. It'll come to you. And there's steps to do. 
whenever you make your ultimate goal, you have to think about what resources do you have? Okay, what, what are you good at? What are your talents? You know, for some people it might be automotive. Some people it might be knitting and crocheting, um, cooking. You know, maybe you'll have recipe books. Maybe you'd like to write a recipe book. You know, no matter what you are into, there's probably at least a hundred other people not far from where you are that are into that same thing. Otherwise, we wouldn't have the stores that we have that sell the hobby shop stuff. We wouldn't have, you know, card, card trading places, you know, for like your sports cards and memorabilia. You wouldn't have, you know, car lots, for God's sake, you know what I'm saying, or car collectors. Um, it's, it's just overall just anything, anything in the world. Some people can, you know, are computer techies. They, they nerd out on us, and that's totally cool. You know, me, I'm not that big of a tech. I, I'm still learning a lot of stuff. I'm learning new stuff every day, and that's the best part, because if you're not learning something new, you're dying. So... Talents, that's one thing to look forward to. Um, maybe you have the funding, maybe you have another job, maybe, maybe you're, you're working at a job wanting to take the, your home business to the next level. You know, that's, that's what a lot of people in this industry are doing. They're actually juggling nine to five family and trying to build a business at the same time. And that's totally awesome, totally cool. You know, but, but you gotta look at all the resources that you have. Knowledge, what do you know? What can you eat, sleep, drink, and breathe? What what can what can you what can you spout off? You know, if somebody was to ask you, hey, my car is making this clickety clackety noise and it goes thump thump zing whenever I push the gas. If you know what that could possibly be for that model of vehicle, somebody will read up on it. I guarantee this. Because me of all people, I like my old junky dodge. That's just how it is. The thing, it's, it's a piece of crap. But I like my Dodge. And it's been an interesting, interesting vehicle. There's been so many family memories made in that vehicle, I wouldn't trade it for the world. I think I'd probably end up buying me a brand new whatever I wanted and still keep my junky Dodge because I love my car. It's like my junky hat. I just love it. If you have software, you, you can make a business with your software. You know, how, you can blog about your favorite game. I mean, PS, what is that, PS4 or something's coming out? I don't know. I don't keep, I don't keep up with the stuff the kids do. You know, you can write about that. Do you have a positive work ethic? You know, are, are you somebody that's going to give up whenever you hit your first roadblock? You know, if you're not that kind of person, awesome. You know, that's a resource. That right there, that is 99% of the reason why people fail in this I swear, because they hit one little roadblock or they can't figure something out, they just throw their hands up because they're used to having everything handed to them. You're, it's not going to work like that if you're trying to build your own business. If you're going to do it, learn from your mistakes. Don't create the same mistakes and teach others how to avoid those mistakes. That's the key. Are you coachable? I, I feel that that would be considered a resource. Because if, if I can take somebody from not knowing a whole lot of anything to taking them to where they can make an income from home then by all means that that's most excellent and I don't care what company you're in this this is totally you know anything that you're doing this is what you need to be doing do you have a product there again if you don't have a product there's a thousand and one things you can find somebody will want something is the way money exchange happens is it starts with a product, somebody sees its value, and then they buy. And then the cycle repeats. So if you give a person value, be it information, be it software, be it crafts, be it, you know, what have you. There's value in everything. You know, I mean, if I was to find another hat just like this one, I would go buy it. Because I love this hat, I would probably retire this one but I would still have the hat just like it, right? Okay, so that kind of covers the resources that you do have. What resources don't you have yet? Keyword, yet. That means that there is always potential to grow. 
And if you are growing, you are learning, if you are learning, you're being productive, if you're being productive and actually doing the parts that matter, then this will make it so much easier. And the only way you're going to know what's working and what's not working is you got to have a good coach. So maybe you don't have funding. You might have to mow some lawns or blow some, blow some snow for somebody. If you don't have a platform, you know, to sell on the internet, the easiest way, honestly, is actually blogging because you can, it's something easily up, you could do. It's easily updatable. You can do it every day, quite simply, really. Um, you can repurpose your blogs. And people don't even realize this. But if you go to just about any company website, you're going to see that they have a blog in there somewhere. And that's how they keep people updated on stuff. If you don't have a good mentor or coach yet, I'm sure you can find a good one. Good ones are hard to find, I won't lie. Some of them will go into the witness protection agency and leave you hanging, but there are some good ones. And if you don't have a product, those are easy to find too. So that, that's just a little bit of more of what we can teach you. So if you'd like more information on the resources that we already know, then I invite you to connect with me and or whoever I'm doing this video with because I help out a lot of different people you know if somebody's using my this video for their training then connect with them you know and and, and talk with them because chances are I've already mentored or I am currently coaching either them or with them so this is Holly for now and I will see you on the next video